College Football 25 is finally here. We have been waiting for more than a decade to play this game. Now, I don't know about you, but the first thing I wanna do is hop into Dynasty. But here is the problem. As of today, which is July 17th, we will not have Team Builder, or at least Team Builder information until July 19th, which means there's no way to currently create your own squad. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna look at the best teams to rebuild in College Football 25. Now, I have a couple of categories I'm gonna go through. First, we're gonna start with the Sleeping Giants. These are the teams that used to be good and are currently begging for someone to take them over and turn them into title contenders. If you're looking for a challenge in your rebuild, a lot of these teams are probably not going to be it, but they are going to be fun to rebuild, and that is because of some of the players they have on their team. So we're going to start with the, probably the easiest one to rebuild, which is Miami. They were great in the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. I mean, this team in 2000, 2001 could have probably have competed against some NFL teams. The team now is not quite as good, but they do have some players that are really good. Obviously, Martinez. He's a 91 overall. He's only a junior. If you can keep him around for another year, he's going to be disgusting. I have played a couple games against Miami with UTEP, which is a team we'll talk about later. And yeah, they blew me out of the water. So this rebuild's not going to be tough. They also have Bain, who is only a sophomore, I might point out, at the left in. And then they have Cam Ward at quarterback, 89 overall. He is a senior, which is unfortunate. But the thing is, is this team is in a great recruiting pipeline. You can easily, easily get a bunch of big recruits coming in. And probably this is like a one-year rebuild at max. But this is going to be an incredibly fun rebuild because you have that pipeline down in Florida. You have a team that has great history. You have a team that already has great players players, guys you can already build around before you even start bringing in recruits. If you were looking to get your feet wet in Dynasty, Miami is going to be the place to go. Next up for Sleeping Giants, we're going to go with Virginia Tech. This team was so good back in the days of Frank Beamer and Michael Vick. I mean, if you can recreate that Beamer ball magic, that is going to be an incredibly fun save. And with how much speed matters in this game right now, it's definitely possible. This team, of course, they are very senior heavy here up at the top, but they do have some juniors sprinkled in. We have Drones, of course, at quarterback, who's very solid. And also a scramble you know, we were looking at Michael Vick here. I mean, we'd like a little bit more speed for our Michael Vick clone, but still we'll take it. Again, not a tough, tough rebuild here, but the Hokies have been pretty mediocre for the last several years. So definitely a great option for players who are starting out in Dynasty, but are looking for a little bit more of a challenge than Miami. And then we get to Nebraska. The Cornhuskers were the talk of the town in the 90s, an incredible, incredible football dynasty back in the day, but they have fallen on tough times since they left the Big 12. They're struggling in the Big 10. However, this this team has some potential and the reason they have that potential is right here our main man Dylan Ravioli and my man is he's not very speedy but he's a good field general he's pretty tall solid freshman quarterback someone you can definitely absolutely build around and on top of that they have some sophomore speed here at the running back position I think this team is set up very well it's going to be tougher than your Miamis and your Virginia Techs but I think the Cornhuskers are a year or two away from really competing for that national title so if you were looking for a top tier sleeping giant to revive Nebraska is absolutely a top tier option and finally for our sleeping giants we're looking at Pitt now if you want to talk programs that used to be very good it doesn't get a lot better than this I'm just looking at their Wikipedia of nine claim national titles. A lot of those came in the Pop Warner era, which is what, back in the 19... 20s 1910s uh, so it's been a long time they did win a title in 1976 and if you're someone who's been paying attention to my all usa videos they have a ton of good recruits from the 80s but since then it's been a bit of slim pick and pitt's bowl record is only 15 and 22 so we're looking at a team that is in desperate need of revamp and <laughs> they really don't have a great roster they have two centers which is a bit strange in their top three players but this is why i'm excited to rebuild Pitt because of their quarterback Eli Holstein maybe Holstein not completely sure he's a scrambler which we love in college football 25 not the best top end speed but definitely good enough I think he's going to be a great player for you to build your dynasty around and he's only a freshman so he's only going to get that much better so of the sleeping giants Pitt will most likely be the toughest rebuild but could be the most fun because that means you're going to have to invest a ton of time in recruiting plus is there a better center duo in the nation than Lyndon Cooper and Terrence Moore, 
I don't think so. Now with the sleeping giants out of the way, we're gonna move on to the much tougher rebuilds. What I'm looking for here is not just teams that are bad, right? Anybody can go find a one star, a 1.5 star team and tell you to go rebuild them. What I'm looking for is some players you can actually build around as you recruit. So the rebuild is not only going to be tough, but also it's gonna be fun because you're gonna have those players already on your roster. So that first year isn't just a complete slog. And our first team is going to be San Jose State. I really, really like this team. First of all, a great jersey combo blue and yellow looks incredible and they have some solid players nick nash very good he's a senior he's going to graduate that sucks same thing for their second best player their right guard but then they have a couple of solid players so we have dansby junior cornerback we have chalk a junior running back with 90 speed so he'll blaze past people harvey also a junior at cornerback but here is where it gets the most exciting at least for me personally and that is adam matthews he's a sophomore so he still has room to grow and if we drill into his stats we notice he has 89 agility 89 acceleration and pretty solid change of direction. So what does that mean? That means this guy is gonna be able to get out of the pocket and make people miss. Now look, are we looking at the next iteration of Michael Vick? Probably not. He's already a sophomore, so he's had a year to develop. So him only being 76 overall at this point is probably a bad sign, but this is a guy you can start your dynasty save with and already have a solid player under center who's gonna be with you for at least a couple years, which is huge when you're starting. And with his dual threat ability, gives you some leeway to build around him on the offensive side of the ball. So. I really like San Jose State. They're a 2.5 prestige school, which is kind of high. And they also have that California pipeline, which is gonna be huge. But I think this will be a fun rebuild for pretty much anybody, regardless of your skill level. Next up, we have Western Kentucky, which is a two-star school. So a very slight step down here. And on top of being a lower rated school, you're in Kentucky. So you don't have access to quite as good of pipelines, but here's what you do have. You got two 80 rated quarterbacks. They both have eligibility left after your first year. Probably gonna go with Velt Comp, Velt Camp. He's not a scrambler, so that kind of sucks if you're one of those type of players, but he is a solid field general. Also, he's six foot six, and Finley is six foot seven, so you got some massive quarterbacks. Finley kind of reminds me of Blake Bell, who used to play for OU, just kind of lining up as a massive, massive man to just jump over the center and score points. Uh, so you could maybe use it the way OU did back in the day. That could be pretty fun. We also have two very speedy cornerbacks. Unfortunately, they're both relatively old, but you know, for that first year, you'll at least have a couple of lockdown corners. Now, again, the Recruiting is going to be a little bit tougher, which makes this a tougher test than somebody like San Jose State, but definitely doable. This is the kind of team I would suggest to veteran players of NCAA 14, especially if you just want to get your feet wet and get started in the mode. And then you can move on to some of the tougher challenges as you improve in your abilities as a recruiter and rebuilder. On a similar tip, we have the Marshall Thundering Herd here, another two-star school. They do have access to that whole East Coast pipeline, so not too bad there. And here is the reason I love Marshall. His name is Cole Pennington. Now, if you are a Marshall fan, which hopefully there's a few of you out there, you might remember his father, Chad, who used to play for Marshall alongside the legendary receiver, Randy Moss. Now, do this version of the Thundering Herd have their own Randy Moss? I mean, look, probably not, right? Like, Chapman is only five foot nine, so he doesn't fit the bill. We don't have any big, big, oh, actually, wait, who's this guy? Okay. Fitzpatrick is six foot four, but only runs an 85. So ideally you would go find your guy, right? Like that's what I would be looking to do with this team is I would be looking to recruit a wide receiver to bring in alongside Cole Pennington and recreate the Pennington to Moss combo. Unfortunately, FCS schools are not in this or else we could get Montego Moss, Randy Moss's son who plays for Maine, but I digress. If you want a team who already has a built in story that you can kind of build around, I think Marshall is a great one. Traditionally, they're not a football powerhouse, right? But I think you could turn them into one and also recapture that magic of Pennington to Moss once again. Okay, we move down to 1.5 stars as we get to the East Carolina Pirates. I think this is going to be a very popular team. One, they have a great color scheme with this purple and gold. They also have an incredible, incredible mascot, great jerseys. This is a team that a lot of people are going to love. So of course, I'm not breaking any new ground here when I tell you that you should probably try this team out for a rebuild. But here is why I like this team a lot. And it comes down to these three guys right here. So we have Jake Garcia, junior quarterback, field general, pretty solid. He started his career at Miami, I believe, and then transferred somewhere else. I can't remember his second school, but now he's at East Carolina. Then around him, you have Sowell and Bond, both sophomores at skill positions, which we love. This is a trio of guys that you can build around, all 79 rated, 
all very solid, all going to help you out quite a bit in your rebuild, make things a little bit easier for you as you recruit up. I mean, look, you're probably not going to be dominating out of the gate with East Carolina, but at least you're going to have fun with the offense for a couple of years with these three at the helm. And then you could just build up with your own guys as you go. East Carolina is definitely a great option for pretty much everybody out there. All right, next up is the FIU Panthers, another 1.5 star school and another school that has some young guys that are going to be very good. Of course, we got masses at the cornerback, 84 overall already as a junior 92 speed think about this guy returning kicks i don't know if he has a good kick return but we won't check it because it'll take too long but still gonna be a very solid player out there on the wing then you have owens at your running back also a junior elusive fast agile look at that acceleration 97 acceleration change of direction 94 this guy's gonna be able to make everybody miss and then of course we get down here to their quarterback who is a sophomore keon jenkins he's a field general so he doesn't have that scrambler ability but he does have very solid speed so as a sophomore gonna be a guy you can build around as you go again this team gets that florida pipeline which means speed speed and more speed I really think FIU, despite being a low rated program, is going to be one of the most fun rebuilds you can do in College Football 25, at least at the start before we get Team Builder. And that's because of their combination of pipeline and the players already on the roster. I mean, for me personally, Jenkins alone is enough to entice me, but add in that pipeline and you just have a team that's going to be a blast to build. Next up for me is going to be Hawaii. I think Hawaii is always a fan favorite to build. I mean, they got great jerseys, they got a great mascot. It is a ton of fun to be out there in Hawaii. But the reason I like this team, of course, they do have a solid wide receiver quarterback combo here, but they are both seniors. They do have have this guy ashlock very solid down here as a sophomore and if we look at their halfbacks i mean look at this they have four guys 75 overall or above and a couple of them are true true speed demons i mean look at barfield 97 acceleration 97 change of direction and even adds 91 return so he's going to be a weapon pretty much everywhere on the field i don't know actually i don't know if he can catch let's check yeah okay only 71 catching so maybe not the best threat out of the backfield but still this team has so many backs you can go to I think it's going to be a ton of fun to work with them. Maybe a little bit like a poor man's version of that Auburn team when they had Cadillac Williams and Ronnie Brown, but I just think Hawaii is always a fun rebuild and it doesn't change here in College Football 25. Speaking of running backs, we get to Texas State. Look, this team is going to be a blast to rebuild. You have a junior running back, already 89 overall, 94 speed, 97 acceleration. I don't want to try to pronounce his name because I'm probably going to get it wrong, but then behind him, you have a senior running back in Hankins, who kind of is the exact opposite. He's the power back, right? This really is that Auburn backfield. Uh, and then you have, of course, senior wide receiver, Hobart, 5'11". He's not going to be, you know, like a deep threat, but he's going to be more than adequate for McLeod. And then we have Kyle Wilson, another great route runner. So this team on offense is just going to be disgusting. And they have an 82 overall kicker. Now that is great. But here is the reason that I love Texas State. And that is because they play in Texas. Any team playing in Texas has access to some of the best pipelines. I mean, we're looking at Texas, California, and Florida. Those are the power pipelines this year and pretty much for the history of college football. And with Texas State, you have a team that is already relatively solid, and you have a team that has the potential to become even better with your recruiting. I love this Texas State team as a rebuild. The only issue is that I don't love their mascot or their uniforms, but if you can get past that, a great, great option. All right, we just talked about it, but here we go. USF, another 1.5 star school team, and another team I love because of their quarterback. A guy you can build around. Brown is already 84 overall as a sophomore. He is a scrambler. If you want to get out of the pocket and make things happen this is the guy to do it he's got option king extender magician off platform everything you would want well nearly everything you would want from that scrambler style of quarterback and he's got room to grow remember he's only a sophomore 89 agility 90 acceleration 88 awareness 80 88 change of direction and around him you have some solid wide receivers adkins and simmons are both seniors but with that florida pipeline i think you could pretty easily recruit some speedy wide receivers to come to your school and make Brown's job even easier when he heads into a senior season. This UCF team is not the team I'm rebuilding first, but they're definitely really high up there. All right, now we get to the team that I am starting my rebuild with, right? Like this is the first team I'm going to rebuild. And I'll be honest, the big reason I want this to happen is because I want UTEP to get popular so that we can get their mascot in the game. But here's the deal. The reason I like UTEP as a rebuild project is one, they're in Texas. Two, they, they suck. They're really bad. This team is not any good. I am getting trounced pretty much every single game. But we do have Westmoreland, a senior right end. This guy just demolishes people. I mean, of course, when you play like good teams, like again, I played Miami recently, he got destroyed, but, but this guy is so good at rushing the passer. So if you use her on your defensive line, great, great option here. Then you have two solid running backs in Jackson and Treesh. 
I like them both. Uh, Trish a lot of times gets out of my backfield. I put him as the fifth wide receiver. So you have some versatility there, but I just think this team is a prime real estate for a rebuild. They had a recent stretch where they went 0-12, 1-11, 1-11 in three straight years. So this team is absolutely garbage. But with that pipeline attack, you can make it happen in a couple years. I already have like three or four four-star recruits signed and I've only been playing for a couple of weeks. So definitely a team you can rebuild relatively quickly just because they're in Texas. Speaking of Texas, as we get to one-star schools, we're going to go with Rice. Now the Owls, of course, have never been a powerhouse because of how important academics is to the school, but there is a chance you can make it happen. Of course, right now they have Dean Connors, an incredible running back, 92 speed, 90 agility, 95 acceleration, 90 change of direction. Love this guy. Going to make your first year pretty easy, especially with how important running is this year. But here's what I like about them. They actually have several solid quarterbacks to build around. So obviously EJ Warner's here. He's a junior, 80 overall already. Pretty solid as a field general. But one of the guys I really like is Chase Jenkins. Now, again, not a great player, only 70 overall as a freshman but as a scrambler, pretty decent speed here. I think he's someone you could eventually start building around if you wanted to. Of course, with Rice, you're going to be in Texas. You have access to some pretty solid recruiting, so you might find someone better. But for my money, I think Rice will be one of the more fun one-star schools to rebuild simply because of how much fun year one is going to be with Dean Connors. And then from there, you just go with your own recruits. You build yourself up until you get a national championship. Okay, we just featured a team with one stud offensive player. Let's go to the opposite side of the ball. Jason Henderson at ODU, a senior right outside linebacker. This guy is a monster 99 awareness 88 acceleration i mean this guy is just going to be in your backfield every single down if you will let him 99 tackling 90 power moves are not that great but pursuit play recognition this guy is just a beast of a player in the back of your front seven but he's not the reason i love this school now of course he's going to make your defense a little bit more fun to play with also hopefully he's going to bring in some recruits but here is why i'm a big fan of this team and that is devin roche freshman elusive h back 90 speed 91 agility 97 acceleration 96 change of direction this guy is going to be a blast to play with and you're going to have him for four years which is huge in a rebuild of course you're going to have players that are probably going to come in and are better than him but if you already have this guy on your roster you can go ahead and build around him and that is massive it makes things so much easier so in terms of prestige old dominion is a bad school but i actually think this team is going to be one of the more fun rebuilds you can do simply because as i've said before some other teams that first year is going to be a ton of fun even if you're getting trounced by higher rated teams. All right, I'm not going to end with them because I know everyone is saying Kennesaw State is the team to rebuild. So we're just going to go with them really quickly. But I actually think that Kennesaw State is going to be a relatively fun rebuild and not just because they're so terrible, but because they actually have several young guys that could grow into something if you play your cards right. Look, you know, Jericho Washington's only a freshman. Even up here, we got sophomores on the defense, Westmoreland, Johnson, and then the halfback, Binyard, is also a junior. It's just going to be a fun team to rebuild because, like, yes, they're going to be bad. Yes, it's going to be very hard, but you're going to have a team that you can grow with, right? Like, as you bring in recruits, of course, those guys are probably going to replace all these guys, but these guys are all young. There's, what, like two seniors in the top 20 or 30 players? Like, that is exactly what you want in a rebuild. You want a team that you can grow with, and this is the team to do it with. I mean, there's a good reason that everybody and their mother is starting a YouTube save rebuilding Kennesaw State. And that's because this team is perfect, perfect, perfect for a college football 25 rebuild. Okay, we have come down to our last two. And the reason I am ending with these programs is because I think these are going to be the most fun rebuilds because you got a ton of options. So first we start with Ball State, a decent program. I mean, yes, they are a one star, but they have some solid players, right? They have a couple of good linemen. And here is where it gets fun. They have a one, two three quarterbacks that are juniors or younger all you know kind of right around here in the same place as far as overalls go i would probably go with samanza of course he's a freshman so he has plenty of room to grow way more than kelly but look this team is absolutely chock full of quarterbacks you're gonna have your pick and that is what i love about this team right like of course you want to have a great quarterback but more than that for me in a rebuild i want to have options so here i start with options and then i can pick what i want to do and build around them and that's what makes ball state so intriguing for me as a team to rebuild of course the red and black is a great uniform combo that's a big draw for me personally but the thing about this team to me is that you're going to have three guys you could potentially build around and it is up to you to make that choice which means your options are completely open on the recruiting board they don't have i mean they have some solid halfbacks right but no i mean maybe they don't even have solid and then over at wide receiver can we look let's just see 
I mean, look, Magwood is pretty solid. He's a junior. We got some speed here, but geez, Louise. I mean, this team is ready for a rebuild and you have the quarterbacks to make it happen. I think this team is going to be a blast to rebuild in year two or three. Of course, the first year is going to be tough. Don't get me wrong. The first year is not going to be easy, but once you get past that, you bring in your own recruits, you start to train some people up. I think Ball State has the chance to really, really leapfrog in that year two or year three, maybe not into national title contenders, but at least into conference contenders. And finally, we get to our last team. Now, just because Charlotte is my last team doesn't necessarily mean I think they're the best team to rebuild. I think all of these teams will be a very good rebuild depending on what you're looking for. But here is why I like Charlotte. And the first thing to talk about is their quarterback, right? Max Brown, sophomore out of Tulsa, scrambler, 83 speed, 86 agility, 85 acceleration, 84 change direction, and pretty solid thrower. I mean, he's not great, but like throw power 92, we'll take that any day of the week. Uh, break sack 85, that's also really good but he has plenty of room to grow as a sophomore. And around him, here is the key. Tight end Colin Weber, junior, six foot four, 84 overall already. This man is a beast. And what is a young quarterback's best friend? A good tight end. Also, we got some solid defensive players. Look, Balfour, Clowney, both sophomores, both very good. Look at this speed on Clowney, by the way. 85 speed, 90 acceleration. Oh my God. Get your backfield ready because this guy is going to have a party in it. And then, of course, we got some halfbacks. Norton, very solid. Kelman, even better. 90 speed, 95 acceleration, 91 change of direction. Love to see that. Wide receivers. Jerry Smack, also a sophomore. Are you seeing the theme here? You will already start to be able to build around this team without really bringing in recruits. Of course, you're going to. You're going to want to bring in your own top tier recruits, but this team is already primed to grow in College Football 25, and that is why I love this team so much. It's not my first rebuild I'm doing because I think it's going to be a little easier than maybe I want, but if you were looking for the team that I think is going to be the most fun to rebuild, purely from fun, not from difficulty, just from the fun standpoint, I think you get Charlotte. I think you say your pipeline for your coach is Metro Atlanta or maybe uh, North Florida, something like that. And then you go to work because this team is going to be a blast. They're already like relatively solid, plenty of room to grow, plenty of room for you to put your own recruits into key positions to make this team even better. I think Charlotte is going to be the most fun team to rebuild here in the early stages before we have team builder. That said, I think every team covered in this video has a ton of potential, has a ton of fun to be had if you play your cards right. So go ahead and sound off in the comments. Tell me which team you're going to rebuild first. Is it going to be UTEP? Are you going to join me? Are you going to be a minor? Please come on. Let's all be minors together. I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.